Hey guys, Eric here with Master Tool Repair. Uh, today we're going to explain how to convert your older Speed Air Campbell Hausfeld 2 line pump to this newer style VT4723. This is the newer uh, VT Victor Tango pump that has been used since uh, the mid late 90s. And this pump has, as you notice, one intake and it has one exhaust uh, side, one exhaust line on the exhaust side of the pump. Your older pump, uh, the old Speed Air. Dayton uh, and Campbell Hossfield compressors under those brands had uh, two lines coming out of the head. So you have your one line here, exhaust for your transfer tube or supply tube, and you had a smaller tube here uh, for your right next to it for a quarter inch or uh, connector that is for your loader line to route to your uh, check valve so it unloads the pressure when it shuts off. Now, uh, if yours has two lines and you receive this one, you order this pump, and obviously you notice you only have one line. Here's what you can do. Uh, still use it, but since it's a different style, you just need an unloader line kit. That's all you need. Uh, here we have the unloader line kit. This is also on our website. Uh, you can see uh, beneath the pump, um, you'll list this unloader line kit. It'll give you about a foot and a half or two feet of your quarter inch nylon or plastic tubing here. So you're going to need to route this to your on off uh, pressure switch. So what you have here is the uh, compression nut and sleeve, comes with it, just a quarter inch compression nut and sleeve. So you slide that right on and it also comes with this adapter here. This is a quarter inch adapter to quarter inch compression and so this will install into your uh, into your check valve here. See it's already installed into this one, um, this check valve, so just for the purposes of the video I just want to show you what it comes with. So what you'll do is you'll take the check valve and if you don't have a quarter inch or eighth inch port in your check valve well, you're going to need to order a new one because the new pump it has only one outlet. You'll need to reroute this quarter inch unloader line. Instead of from the head, you route it from the check valve to your pressure switch unloader valve, which is right here. So it's just a different way to route the leader valve or unloader valve so that the compressor can unload that excess pressure when it shuts off. Uh, so if your check valve has a, an eighth inch port here on the side, that's great. And then you can use it, not a problem. You can install the unloader line kit. However, if your older check valve does not have an eighth inch port right here, then you'll, you're going to need to replace it with one that does. This one does. And we have this on the uh, website as well. Uh, under the model, you'll see this listed. And this has your uh, connection, your adapter, and, and the eighth inch port. So it's already installed in there. So if you have a check valve with that port, all you'll do is you'll simply attach the unloader line, the new plastic unloader line, uh, to this compression adapter and you'll insert the other end into your pressure switch unloader valve. And in this case it's a, a push connect or a quick connect type. You just push it in and locks in place. You may have a compression style uh, fitting on your unloader valve. It may not be this type of quick connect. If It's no problem if you have that because you can still use this unloader line, you'll simply attach the compression nut and sleeve to it and screw it onto your unloader valve. So not a problem if you have the other style. And so it'll route like this. Your check valve will be in your tank, of course, and you'll have your new unloader line routed to it and to your pressure switch. That way it shuts off. It'll unload the pressure like it should. And that's how you get around it. So uh, this is something, again, information we have on the website. Um, if you have any more questions, you can call into the sales rep for more information. But um, that should give you enough information um, to go ahead and install it and get the presser running again. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you next time.